Adobe Photoshop Creative Suite 6, CS6. This was a new release last month from Adobe. Tremendous partner with AMD, part of our ecosystem. They have now added a range of OpenCL and OpenGL driven accelerated filters within this photo editing application. It is the most popular photo editing application worldwide. So we'll first tell you a little bit about the photo. This is from a recent PC enthusiast event at AMD. These guys are actually using, um, in this case, liquid nitrogen to overclock our FX desktop CPU. This is the Guinness world record holder for, uh, for CPU speed. Very large photo, about eight megapixels in all. We're going to apply one of these OpenCL or GPU accelerated filters in CS6. So my colleague Marcus, he's setting the filter, and what he's doing here is creating the sense that perhaps you wanted to put that super cold thermos in sharp relief in the foreground and blur the background. Common trick for photographers who didn't actually shoot the photo that way. So he's in the process now of using that same Core i7 Ivy Bridge system to apply that filter. When he clicks OK, what you're going to see is you're actually going to have to wait a little bit. It's going to be about 18 seconds in all as the, comp excuse me, the competition's best product today churns through this particular workload. Now imagine if you had lots of these photos that you wanted to edit to create and share a new album online. All right, now let's switch to the A10 powered Trinity desktop. And here we're really taking advantage of the incredible amount of, as Lisa said, more than 700 gigaflops of computing in that chip. All the same settings, I'm going to position it in the same place on the thermos, and this time when my colleague hits OK, we're going to see roughly a double the performance of what you see from the competitive platform. That adds up over time. A few photos a day, many photos a week. Less than nine seconds for the AMD platform on the same workload. So that's terrific. Okay, now let's switch to a Trinity-powered notebook and see the benefits of when an application takes advantage of GPU acceleration for very consumer-friendly video editing. On the left might be the kind of video that Lisa referenced where you've gone skiing or sledding with the family and the white balance isn't there, there's shake in the video. You wanted to just quickly share it, but you think, no, I'm not, that's not ready for prime time. So you use this software for Motion DSP V Reveal, and you can get the experience on the right with a one-click fix, but you'll see it's playing back much less than real time. It's about 10 frames per second. When you turn on GPU acceleration, boom. You get 30 frames per second playback. You're able to edit in real time, rapidly understand, hey, if I make this change or that change to the video, what will it look like? If you're happy with it, you've applied that one-click fix, then you'll see he's hovering over the Facebook icon in this case. Here our HD Media Accelerator comes into play to rapidly speed that process of re-encoding this video so that you can share it up to your favorite social networking site. So right there, Lisa, I think you've got great examples in our ecosystem of a visibly superior experience in consumer-friendly workloads being delivered by our new A-Series APU. Back to you.